good day one. What are you doing here? I was meditating, man. Preparing myself for the chess session. Oh, mental preparation is muy es importante. You speak Spanish now. You know that, right? Called like one or two classes. Hola, como estas? Está bien? Bien, you too. ¿Qué pasa, amigo? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so today, it's another chess day. So we are at the end phase of our uh, conditioning routine. Finally! Thank God for that. We're really done with this crap. And I, I want to hit that hypertrophy and get into that strength training again. That's what I'm really looking And that's why you should always variate your programs. Because right. after a while you get bored. Exactly. I'm bored. In the beginning, beginning of the exercise, it was fun. And Yay, 50 reps, getting good burns. But now... <laughs> And even when you're doing 15 reps for a certain program, you, sh you should try and vary it, the exercise. I mean, if you're doing a, a fly, try the back desk. And we finally find a back desk. Good stuff. So let's dig in. We're starting off with... Dumbbell press. Always start with a dumbbell Usual press. Stuff. We like to start off with the press because we like going really heavy. Even when doing 50 reps, 15 reps, we try to go as heavy as possible. So, and if we do it at the end, our yeah. energy is going to be well, well, down low, way down low, and you don't want that. It's a good warm up, activate those well, chest muscle fuels, get them ready for the other exercise for more focused and uh, more focused contraction. Yeah. Start off with the 20s, move on to 24, and then end in the 28. 28. Yeah, it's quite, it's, it's quite well, man. We get some okay. strength gains from the strength uh, program. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. 28, 15 reps, good stuff. After that, we did the press variant. Mm -hmm. Dean did not like this exercise, yeah, and I, I love it. He it's, it's always coming up with something like, hey, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do some more messed up stuff. So basically the difference is you put, you put the dumbbells together and you press them up like this. So you're basically using a lot of your tricep and the inner muscles because you're already contracting when pulling the uh, dumbbells together. The inner part of the chest gets really contracted and it's just fucking out there. Focus on tucking your elbows in so you get more of that inner chest and the tricep activation. The activation is what you need, is what you want for the game. And now we're doing some dumbbell flies, but not the normal ones. We found a pack deck in this gym. Look like a dumbbell man. Machine, man. That's what I'm use, saying. I'm going to use dumbbell flats on the machine. That's what I'm there saying. are no dumbbells on the machine. That's what I'm saying, you stupid bitch. Normally we would be doing a dumbbell uh -huh. flat, but uh -huh. we're doing a machine. Okay, okay. Just keep on talking, man. Right? Effect flat. And yeah, it just felt really good. The activation is perfect. Like the contraction, you keep focus on your chest contraction. You cannot cheat. You can't cheat, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't. But since it's so focused on isolation, you can get the optimal contraction. You have a lot of those in the gym with the closed arms. And the cushions, yeah. The cushions, but you cannot get the perfect isolation because most of the time you see people uh, compensating with the biceps, with the arms, and also with the abs by crunching like this, or with the wide and arms. You're, and you're basically stuck in a certain... Yeah. Uncomfortable. Yeah, because you cannot adjust the machine. While these, you can, like Dean said, spread your arms. But the thing is loose. So if Dean has long arms, he just ends up a bit wider as well. And that's really optimal. While the cushion was you're just yeah, stuck. If, if you machine, got short as arms and you're like, <coughs> you're you got rev yeah. like a T Rex. Exactly. So yeah, it's, you can see it in our faces in the content in the video. It's just insane. That feeling is really good. The contraction is good. The burn is insane. And this exercise, every time I'm doing a chest day in this gym, I will be doing these. Okay. What, do we, what do we do to finish off chest? Some cables. Some cables and yeah. and like some push-ups or something. Uh, we're doing some cables and some dips to finish yeah. them off. Yeah. yeah. We like doing dips at the end because we basically roast it. And that's when we get heavy. Everyone can do 20 dips as a warm-up. Try doing 20 dips. As the finish is burned down. Yeah, your triceps are nearly empty. Your chest should be basically fried, like something fried chicken. Mm. 
So try doing this at the end of your workout. It's really nice. The burn is intense. Your triceps start. You start. We started shaking, basically. And some the cable flies to finish up. Isolate the chest a bit more. Get that contraction in. And it up. Today we did some dumbbell press. Just keep it simple. We only did two or three uh, shoulder exercises so that after that we can hit up uh, some tricep. Mm -hmm. So we did some dumbbell press, the usual stuff. How many kilograms did you do roughly? 24, 20? 20. 20. 20 reps is hard. 15 reps, exactly. It gets intense. And after that we did some ladder work. Um, some lateral leg yeah, raises, yeah. some 12 kilos, I believe, 10 kilos. Yeah, 10 kilos. Yeah. Don't go too heavy on those type of exercises, especially on shoulders, because if you, if you have a small adjustment in the position of your shoulder, the exercise will get much and much heavier. Yeah. See a lot of guys in the gym doing the shoulder exercises with the lateral raises like this. Yeah. When you do it like this, the tension is already gone from the shoulder. Basically, yeah. the important key component with a lateral release is that your elbow should be higher than your shoulder. Yeah. Try it for that. Try it. Try it. Try it at home. You feel the tension. You can make it even harder. Okay. By basically opening your arm all the way. That's just intense. Exactly. <laughs> so try those things out. Definitely don't do this shit. I mean, you're training your shoulder. Why is your fist up in the air? Shouldn't your shoulder go up? I'm almost elbow thin right here. Should be funny footage if I do it. So after this, we did some tricep extension just to burn the tricep, just to finish it off. They were already dead from I the mean, chest yeah. and from the shoulder presses, and from the dips. Everything just burned the tricep out. So we just did two. We did a cable extension and with a with a with the bar, just burning it out. Just go to failure the last set and perfect for physical condition. And go home, eat some chicken. Exactly. We are one way. See you soon.